But we do know that this child had siblings, both on his mother and his father's side. Police have not identified them, and it is unclear at this point if those family members even knew of this little boy's existence. The death certificate for the unknown child, OME number 57-0863, would be amended to reflect the child's birth name, Joseph Augustus Zarelli. Joseph's date of birth is January 13th, 1953. And after more than six decades, the boy in the box has a name. And while there's a lot police and investigators are not saying tonight, there is more we know about him. We know he'd been beaten, malnourished, and appeared younger than he was. In the early days of the investigation, photos were printed in newspapers and sent in gas bills in the hopes people would recognize the child. Tips came in, but they didn't lead police to his name or find the person who left him, beaten and naked in that box, in Fox Chase, 65 years ago. Joseph has a number of siblings on both the mother and father's side who are living, and it is out of respect for them that their parents' information remain confidential. We have learned a Chester County law firm had been retained by those police reached out to in connection with the case. A lawyer for the firm offered no comments on behalf of his clients and did not identify them. Joseph Augustus Zarelli had a birth certificate, but no registration with the Social Security Administration. It's unclear if his birth father knew he existed. Sources say both birth parents had other children and won't say how many or if they ever knew of any connection to America's unknown child before crucial DNA evidence led investigators to them. Joseph Zarelli likely had operations as a child. There were some scars noted on this boy's body, and Dr. Spellman believed that this meant that this child had undergone um, intravenous uh, fluid administration when he was uh, very young. And if investigators have any inkling, inkling as to what those medical procedures are, they're not saying it at this point. We know this little boy was four years old. Again, we don't know if any other family members even knew of his existence or their connection to him. And police tonight say they may never be able to fully say publicly what they think happened to him or who put him in that box to be found in Fox Chase more than six decades ago. In Devonchester County, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.